everyone. Welcome to Kaviation Engineering YouTube channel. So uh, today I'm going to teach you uh, about uh, ATA Chapter 21, Air Conditioning System, Pressurization, Lesson Number 5. Right, so if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, I'm Keshara Vikramasinghe. I'm professional aircraft maintenance technician. So uh, if you still not subscribe to uh, Kvision Engineering YouTube channel, please subscribe and share these videos with your friends, relatives, and if anyone who want to learn about aircraft maintenance. And um, yeah, uh, that's also no need to waste the time. So we will go to the lesson, right? Okay. So uh, today I'm going to teach you about AT Chapter 21 Air Conditioning uh, System Pressurization Lesson Number Five System Warnings. All right. All right. So in this lesson, you will learn pressurization warnings and their indication in engine warning display. All right. Okay. So you can see this is the uh, cabin pressure page. Right. Uh, this is the system display. All right, now the first uh, for, uh, uh, warning is uh, excess cabin uh, altitude, right? Right, okay, so uh, you can see uh, when this fault is come, right, the master warning flashes, you can see the red uh, master warning is flashes and the oral warning sounds, it is continuous crime, right? It is continuous crime and the indication sounds chosen Red. You can see the indication shows in uh, red, okay, excess cabin altitude, all right? So the cabin altitude greater than 9,550 feet, then this, uh, uh, the master warning will be uh, come, okay? Right, the depending on the cabin vertical speed, a descent or an emergency descent must be initiated, all right? Okay, so this is the flight phase, right? Okay, this is the cabin uh, pressure control panel. All right, next one is system one or system two fault, right? System one or system two fault. Only the indication of the faulty system changes to amber color. You can see if the system one or system two fault is come, then only the indication faulty system changes to amber color, right? System one fault means then the system one is come from amber color. If the system two is fault, then system two will be come from amber color, right? And also uh, you can see the fault message cabin pressure system one is fault, right? So this is the flight phases one, two, six, and nine and 10, right? So the controller one or two faulty and the, the, the reasons for this uh, fault is control of one or two faulty or automatic transfer. Uh, if it is this one happen, then automatic transfer uh, will be uh, occur, right? Okay, next one is system one and system two faulty, both system faulty. At this time, master caution comes on. Okay, you can see the master caution will comes on and oral warning sounds will appear on as a single kind, all right? And the fold light comes on in the control panel. Okay, you can see the fold light comes on the control panel in mode select a push button and indications become amber color. You can see the indications will become amber color, right? So the both controllers fold. This thing happen when the both controllers are faulty and man mode, it means manual mode must be used in order to control the cabin pressure by means of the manual vertical speed control toggle switch. Okay, all right. So uh, the next one is outflow valve not open. You can see uh, the outflow valve is not open. Uh, at this time, uh, you can see the master portions comes on. Okay, you can see the master portions will be comes on and the oral warning sound as a single kind, right? So uh, when the outflow valve is not fully open, right? When the outflow valve is not fully open in ground mode, man mode and manual vertical control toggle switch must be used to fully open the outflow valve, okay? Right, and also you can see the fold message, cabin pressure outflow valve not open, all right? Uh, the flight phases are one, two, nine, and 10. And next one is uh, landing elevation fold, okay? Landing elevation fold, and uh, if this fold will become, and then uh, the master quotient comes on, you can see the master quotient comes on in amber color, and oral warning sounds as a single, Kind. Uh, the flight phases are flight phases number two and number six. So there is no landing elevation data available from the flight management and guidance system. All right. So the landing field elevation must be manually selected by using the landing elevation rotary selector. At this time, we need to 
uh, we need to we must manually select uh, the, the landing elevation by using the landing elevation rotary selector in the cabin pressure control panel all right okay and also you can see the uh, fold matches fold message also appeared uh, landing as a cabin pressure landing elevation fold all right next one is the safety valve not open this one safety valve is not open and this time the master caution comes on you can see the master caution is comes on and oral warning sound as a single kind and the indications become amber color you can see the indications become amber color the flight phases are one two three and six and high differential pressure causes the opening of the safety valve the reason is high differential pressure causes the opening of the safety valve uh, if this one happen se uh, select the mode selector push button to manual and adjust the man manual vertical speed to reduce the cabin delta pressure all right okay next one is low differential pressure low differential pressure okay you can see uh if the low differential pressure appeared master caution comes on okay you can see the master caution comes on as a amber color and oral warning sound as a single kind and also uh, the fold message shows uh, cabin pressure low differential pressure so low differential pressure warning occurs when the aircraft rate of descent is too high with respect to cabin differential pressure right uh, time to reach delta pressure equal uh, 0 uh, minus uh, 1.5 minutes and time reach delta pressure equals 0 or uh, less less than or equal time for cabin altitude to reach landing elevations plus 30 seconds and aircraft is at least 3,000 feet above landing field. The warning is maintained when aircraft descend below 3,000 feet above landing field. All right. Okay. The flight phases are flight phases number one and number six. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that is the end of this lesson. Very short lesson. Uh, these are the warnings appeared in the uh, pressurization. All right. So thank you for participating in this lesson. Uh, the next lesson, uh, I'm going to teach you about the system control interfaces. So it is also very important uh, in pressurization. So stick with my uh, YouTube channel, Kaviation Engineering. Uh, if you still not subscribe uh, my YouTube channel, please subscribe. Uh, don't forget it. And also, uh, please share this video with your friends, relatives, anyone who want to learn about aircraft maintenance. And uh, yeah, so uh, just wait uh, for the next lesson. And uh, we will meet on next lesson. Have a good day for all of you.